As your structure gets larger, it can become difficult to manipulate and work in certain areas of the structure and not have other areas cover up what you're doing. In order to help with that problem, visual analysis has what are called cut views, cut volumes, and cut planes. Let's look at how those work. I've got a simple structure here which has some members and some plates for shear walls, and I'd like to look at how we could zero in on certain parts of the structure. If you look in the project manager, there's going to be a tab called cut. By default, as you change and create your model, visual analysis will automatically create cut planes for you, lining up in the X, Y, and Z directions. And if we look, we have these planes defined. And for example, if I click on one of these, you'll see we're going to just clip out everything but it, but that information which lies in a particular plane. So the automatic cut planes are available to you and are recommended if you need to zoom in on parts of your structure. If you notice, these cut planes are all in the global coordinate directions. My structure has a sloping roof and maybe I just want to work in the roof. An easy way then to create a new cut plane, if it's sloping that's fine, is to select objects that would lie in the cut plane and therefore define the extents of that cut plane. So if I select these two plates, go over to the cut plane, and now select my mouse, use the right mouse button, and select cut view from selected. When I do that, You'll notice in the cut tree here, I have a new cut plane called Selected Cut Zero, and it includes that sloped roof area. So you have the ability to add to these cut planes by selecting objects and then simply using your mouse and select Create Cut Plane. So that's a technique that could be very useful to you. In addition, you can create a new cut volume. Now, so far, everything I've shown you is what's called a cut plane. Now, in other words, everything lies in the plane. A new cut volume, however, is exactly as it says, a cubed volume that you can cut out of your structure. When you select the new cut volume, the following dialog pops up, and you can name it anything you want. By default, we're cutting to everything selected. And if I uncheck that now, I have the ability to shrink this volume. For example, I could change its X size from 52 feet down to 40 feet. And when you do that, you see I clip out the wings on this structure. Note also I can change the volume in the other directions, as well as rotate the volume. And lastly, shift the volume by changing its center. Let's look at what happens now with my cut volume. And when I do that, you notice now my volume has cut things out of the edges. So that's what's called a cut volume. These items are saved with the project. So as you save your model and then open it again, you'll see the available you for future use. A final thing I'd like to talk about is the issue with selecting in 3D and when it can become difficult. To demonstrate this, I'm going to rotate my model around a little bit so you see that these nodes and these beams are all very close together. In VA, it's possible to select one item and then hit the tab key. And as you do that, it will tab through the items close by. I've hit the tab key and now I'm looking at a beam just behind the node. I'll hit it again and it'll transverse down to the next node and keep on going as I'm going away from my mouse. As I continue to hit the tab key, you'll see I'm selecting things in the proximity of where my first mouse click was. So that can be a handy way to move through things in your 3D model if you're having difficulty with selection. Another thing that visual analysis does is it looks at the keyboard as you click on things. If you were to hold down the end key and you were clicking near several things, you can count on the node being the item selected, or the L key if you're near a load and count on the load being selected, or the P for plates and M for members. So using the keyboard while you're clicking can also be helpful to you as you're trying to select in 3D.